The Catholic bishops of Europe have submitted their thoughts on the upcoming European Year, year of Skills. The church leaders are asking for the emphasis on integral development of a person, the quality and quality education. The document will be discussed in the coming days. It's all part of the Holy Father's call for education to be a creator of peace and fairness. And joining us now from Belgium is Father Manuel Enrique Barrios Pietro, General Secretary of Comeche, the Commission of the Bishops' of Conferences of the European Union. Father, great to see you again. Can you tell us more about the document that you submitted to the European Commission? Yes, it's a document that we submitted to the European Commission in answer to a consultation that was launched by the European Commission. This year, 2023, has been dedicated uh, by the European Commission to the issue of education, training, and specifically skills. So to do this, uh, the Commission has launched a consultation to different stakeholders, including us, and we decided to answer, to give an answer to this in this document that we submitted to the Commission. So it's a document that wants to give our perspective on this issue of education, training, and specifically skills. And we decided to, um, to draft this document with uh, some partners, specifically the Salicias, uh, Don Bosco International, and also with the Federation of Catholic Family Associations of Europe, FAFSIN. So it's a document that wants to see this important issue also for the church, education, training, skills, uh, in this perspective. What can we as church offer the commission as our perspective on on this uh, year, this year dedicated uh, to to this to education, training, and skills. You kind of touched on this a little bit, but looking ahead now, what are some of the projects and priorities of the Comeche this year, and how can you tell us uh, how the church is doing overall in Europe? Obviously, one of the more very important uh, things in Europe that is a tragic thing is the war in Ukraine. Mm -hmm. And this is obviously something that as the Catholic Church in the European Union, were very much concerned with and the consequences of the war. Uh, these are in part also economic consequences and <clears throat> social consequences. There's an increase in poverty, an increase in inequality. So we are also uh, approaching this issue. And this will be one of the issues, uh, very important issues that will be uh, discussed in the plenary assembly we're having in Rome in March. And we have just a few minutes now, but uh, in March, your group's going to hold an assembly in Rome to meet with Pope Francis. What are you expecting from that meeting? Well, uh, we, uh, it's a meeting of the plenary assembly of commissaries taking place in Rome, as you said. We have the chance of meeting Pope Francis, and this will be very important for us. And it's also a meeting in which we'll renew our presidency. So the mm -hmm. president will change, the president of Commissary, and there will be a renewal of the four vice presidents. So I think it's important to have this meeting with Pope Francis before our elections to see what is the view the Pope has on the European reunion and the role the church has uh, before the European Union in this dialogue mission that Commissary has. So this is important. And obviously, a meeting of the bishops that are representing the Bishops' Conference of the European Union is always an occasion to share thoughts, share, share concerns regarding the European Union and, and the main issues that it has to deal with. Well, Father, thank you so much for joining us again. Father Manuel Enrique Barrios Pietro, General Secretary of Comeche, the Commission of the Bishops' Conferences of the European Union. Thank you again. Thank you very much to you.